Uh, uh, all that, all that became really great because since then, since since rap music or the hip hop culture became popular, the inception of producing in your own house became greater because what was happening now. These guys was, you know, these tech heads was making this, making this software, and for just so you didn't have to use tape anymore. You know, tape was a big thing back then. So Pro Tools, so Pro Tools was invented to take the place of tape. So you didn't have to do all the technical stuff that you had to do with tape. Like you had to, with tape machines, you had to align, align the tape machines. You know, you had to have a tech. But what happened was, that was a, for, I guess, for the studio, I mean for the record label, that was sort of costly. So, and it became, it became to the point where, the medium, the medium of tape was costly because after a few years, the tape started to deteriorate. So they needed another way to archive music. So I guess a bunch of a bunch of engineers and, and engineers and musicians got together and decided to figure out how to make transfer uh, analog tape into the digital world just for story. Go-to came along and made it like we can record with this. Because nowadays because of computer music, people are missing the learning process. They're just jumping into just banging on a computer, putting some beats together. They're not understanding uh, what frequencies, with different ranges of frequencies, they're not, some of them are not learning the, uh, the structure of, I'm recording too loud, you had to be sure that because there's only a certain level of level threshold that you can record your loudest. But when you're at home and you're not being taught, ah, <laughs> and that, there is none of that. So that's the downfall of computers. I think people are not learning music like what the musicians had to learn.